What is going on, guys? It's your boy Gamers Game here today to talk about WWE Evolution. Now, card's kind of lagging. We're going to start at the bottom. And by the bottom, I don't mean, like, the best match in the main event. I don't mean that. I mean the, the match I'm least looking forward to, and then we're going to build up. First, we're going to talk about Sasha Banks, Bayley, and Natalia versus the Riot Squad. Now... When you think about this match, it makes you kind of question. First ever women's pay-per-view, you put Natalia, one of the longest members in the women's division. You put Sasha Banks and Bayley, the ones that really opened the door um, based on TakeOver Brooklyn, the first one, and what they did. You really think about it. Does it make sense for them not to be in a higher profile match and just go against the Riot Squad for essentially nothing? Does it make much sense? No. Um. I'm hoping that they give Bailey, Nat Natty, and Sasha a victory, but I really see the Riot Squad winning. I really do think you need to give a bone to the ones that, that built the division. So I think you need to reward Tasha, Bailey, and Natalia. But I think the Riot Squad is going to win. So I'm going to say the Riot Squad. Next, we have the Battle Royal. Many names are in it, such as Asuka, Ember Moon. And it's for a future title opportunity. I think Asuka is going to win. I think Asuka is going to win. I can't see a Naomi, a Brie Bell. I could see Ember winning. I could see it. I can't see anybody from NXT. Maybe we'll get a. Maybe we'll have um, Bianca Belair in it. Maybe that would be an interesting thing to watch. But I, I do believe Oscar is gonna pick up the victory because I don't know who's gonna eliminate Oscar. It'd have to be a whole combined effort. Next, we're going to talk about the main event, most likely. We have Ronda Rousey and Nikki Bella. This is the main event a lot of people do not want, including me. I want to see this going one way. Ronda Rousey is going to beat Nikki Bella in under five minutes. That is what needs to happen. You cannot convince me that Nikki Bella is on any sort of level that Ronda Rousey is on. You can't. Next is Trish and Lita versus Mickey James and Alicia Fox with Alexa Bliss at ringside. This is exactly why when they first announced the match that I was not pleased. I wanted Sasha versus Trish or something along those lines. They didn't give it to us and it backfired. Alexa Bliss got hurt. Now you're putting Alicia Fox in there. Alicia Fox isn't a bad wrestler, but nobody has an emotional interest towards Alicia Fox. People care about Alexa Bliss, but I'm not a huge fan of her. Um, nobody really cares about Alicia Fox, really. So, this match just went from being decent. And it could have been great, but it went from being decent to way, way worse than what it should have been. Next, we're going to talk about Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. I am nervous about this match. I think Becky needs to win, but I'm hearing rumors that Charlotte might be the victor in this match. But I'm still going to say Becky is going to win. Although all the rumors do say Charlotte is going to win and face Asuka at Survivor Series, implying that Asuka is going to win the Battle Royal. I just cannot see them Dropping the, the title off of a heel of Becky Lynch right now. I can't see it. I cannot see it. I don't think that she's really heel. She just did what she needed to do to get what she wanted. But I, I don't see Charlotte winning the, the title any time soon. Maybe, maybe before Mania. Maybe. Next, we have... When should we talk about next? We're going to either talk about... You know, I'm going to talk about Kyrie Shane and Shayna Baszler. We're going to say, we're going to say the Mae Young Classic until the end. Um, so Kyrie Shane and Shayna Baszler, obviously, Kyrie Shane pulled off a huge upset 
I think, I don't even remember where the takeover is, honestly. Was it in, um, Philadelphia, maybe? I don't know. Kyrie Sane pulled up a huge upset. Everybody didn't think Kyrie Sane was going to win. Shayna Baszler had it won, it seemed. But Kyrie Sane somehow pulled off uh, an insane victory against Shayna Baszler. And I think we're going to see something along those lines again. I don't think the title's going to take off Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane is basically really the future of the division. I could see um, Shayna Baszler getting called up on Monday and going up to Monday Night Raw. I really can I don't think there's much left for Baszler to do that her title reigns done, and I don't think there should be much to do for her. Next, we're going to talk about the Mae Young Classic. We have Tony Storm and Io Shirai. Obviously, both women were very talented. They both won their sides of the bracket, and we're set for a treat. If if they don't have handcuffs in this match, we could possibly be looking at one of the best matches of the night. Probably will be the best match of the night. It's either that one or Kyrie and Shayna. But I'm going to probably say that the Mae Young Classic is going to be the best one. Because we still have stories from the Mae Young Classic. We're probably, we're probably going to get the big moment where um somebody wins... Really hoping Tony Storm wins, but I don't think she will. I think Io Shirai is gonna win, but we're gonna get the moment where I don't know if Hunter's gonna be there or not, but definitely Stephanie. She's gonna come out with the the flowers and the bouquet mixed with the trophy and all this, and granting it to the victor. Obviously, that's gonna happen. I'm hoping Hunter's gonna be there, but. You know that they're going to have that big moment. The first women's pay-per-view. You know that they will. And that's all I got for today.